Hello dear friends, I'm Marina and this is your daily astrology horoscope for the New Year's Eve. And actually today we don't have any exact aspects, but we still have something important to discuss. There is a bisextile in the skies, which is not exact, you know, the aspects are not exact, but they are still in orbits. And the bisextile actually is a very, very supportive and positive aspect configuration. It consists of two sextiles and one trine. So this is a very soft configuration. It doesn't bring a really strong energy, you know, or the need to put some extra effort on something or be really, you know, focused and hardworking. It's a very soft and um, actually very mild configuration. And the, uh, the planets which are included are the Sun and Venus, which are in the apex of the configuration, which means that they are the planets which make the two sextiles. And they are connected with Neptune in Pisces and Jupiter and Mars in Scorpio. And on the other hand, Jupiter and Mars are making the trine with Neptune. So I hope you understand it. But anyway, even if you can't imagine it, the most important is that we have this positive, wonderful configuration between, so how much they are, they are actually five planets included. And it means that we can be more creative and things might be really supporting us, the circumstances, there might be some opportunities for us. And we need to take, uh, you know, advantage of these opportunities. We need to do something in order to benefit from these advantages. If we are not paying attention, the opportunities are gone. But, you know, if you are open-minded, if you are waiting for these opportunities, if you are putting some effort or at least taking some action on it, then you can definitely benefit from this. And this is actually a great way, I think, to, um, you know, to face and to meet the New Year's Eve. And um, also the moon is in Gemini, which is a great time to socialize with people. So most of us are going to celebrate the holiday with others. And actually the moon in Gemini can help us to connect better. Maybe this is not a really emotional, intense connection. It's more on, on an intellectual level or it's more about, you know, talking about fun things, talking about um, some positive stuff, not too serious, not uh, too emotional, but at the same time, you know, they can be really, really pleasant. So spend more time with others, connect with others, maybe travel somewhere, maybe read a book. Gemini is really the sign related with reading. So this is a great time to spend maybe one or two hours just reading something positive, which will help you to begin next year prepared and charged with this positive energy. So that's the most important for today. I wish you all to have a wonderful evening and I will see you next year.